Hi guys, so it's been a while since I did a video and I thought I would kind of just show you what I did last night because I'm super proud of it. So um, last night was my first time doing horse hair plaster. So this is the first layer of plaster and it's probably not the best job because it's the first time I ever did it but I'm pretty proud of myself uh, for doing it because I had to do a lot of research and find a lot of materials. And then, but it was kind of nice to have the old plaster because I could actually see where the, the layer of um, horsehair plaster was before. And I was able to use that as my guide so I knew how thick to make it. So that was kind of nice. And then here's the back of it. So I got, I got lots of yummy plaster coming through to hold, hold it to the wall. And um, mixing the, plast the hair in the plaster was uh, quite an interesting experience because the um, the hair kept getting wrapped around I was using a I was using a drill mixer and the hair kept getting wrapped around the drill bit and I had, kept having to cut it off and eventually I had to just like as I put it on my little platform to hold to get on the wall I had to just kind of mix the hair in and if I had too big of a clump of hair then obviously it caused problems in my plaster. But it was really fun and interesting to do and I'm really excited. So today, um, we don't have the tile in the shower finished yet. We've still got to do the upper part of the, the shower and the border, but it's easier to do when Joe can help me. And we were hoping to have our toilet in, but we've got to get the wainscoting up first, and I can't do the wainscoting until I get the plaster done. So today we're trying to get all the plaster done. I don't know that I'll get the stencils on, but the first coat, well, the that coat, that's going to be a thin layer. i got to get this coat established um, so that we can get the wainscoting up so that we can get the toilet in. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We might... We might wait on the toilet till we get the shower all done just because we don't want to have to work around the toilet because um, it's pretty small space in here. But things are moving and going good. I got my floor tile down so that's why I got the cardboard on it to protect it. And um, my cute little ceiling tiles that you can kind of see. There we go. So I'll have a, I'll have a, a, a white plaster here. That will, that will mimic on the wall like that much. So the same distance on the ceiling and the top of the wall. And I'm gonna try and carve out the pattern that I've chosen for that, because I'm kind of trying to do a Moroccan theme. And um, we'll see how that works. I gotta still experiment with that a little bit, but I can at least, you know, I have to, I can do that later. But I need to at least get this done. So we're gonna do a kind of an arch here um, over the shower. So I've got to get some of this painted, but that's not going to happen today. And then I'm going to mimic the arch on the walls. And I've got a mirror that actually has a Moroccan pattern that I've traced the arch around so that it will fit. Cause it's a big, like three foot mirror. Um, just because the, the vanity I have is really tiny and it's an old washstand and the mirror is like maybe a foot tall and it's gonna sit about here so it's not gonna be a very big mirror um, and then I'll put shelves there anyway okay so enough talking about that because whatever but I was wanting to show my plaster job because I'm super excited about it and it was a lot of fun and a lot of really hard work <laughs> anyway so thanks for watching and um, can't wait to show you what's next.